वेलकम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मुदालियर कमीशन नाउ मुदालियर कमीशन टॉक्स अबाउट डीलिंग विद द सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन कमीशन सो इट वाज इस्टेब्लिश्ड इन 1952 मुदालियर इज बेसिकली वाज बेसिकली द वाइस चांसलर ऑफ मद्रास यूनिवर्सिटी ही एक्सप्लेन दैट वी आर वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन द सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ एज ग्रुप फ्रॉम इलेवन ईयर्स टू सेवेंटीन ईयर्स सो दो सेवन ईयर्स आर क्रूशियल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट सो अंडर दैट वी वुड डिमार्केट थ्री ईयर्स as junior secondary and the next 4 years as higher secondary the diversification of the courses should be there and it should be as either general courses or vocational courses then he said that 12th class should be attached to university and 11th class to high school so there would be a period of one one year of pre university before entering a 3 year degree course so the idea was to have one year pre university program before entering a university technical the schools and technical colleges are highly focused under this commission then you had a idea of multi purpose school these were established from various uh, branches so it included technology commerce agriculture agriculture was one of the major aspects that were introduced under the uh, secondary education commission by mudaliyar similarly you have the idea of regional language one compulsory language and picking up one optional from the seven optionals that were there so those were humanities sciences technical commercial agriculture fine arts and home science so he talked about the following optional courses that a student can have in a secondary program he talked about uh, reconstruction of the secondary schools after 5 uh, years uh, there should be the idea of co education that should be provided some of the important methods that he focused was activity method and project method similarly he also talked about experiment and demonstration in the schools as a major idea working in groups activity based learning and focus on symbolic grading rather than numerical marking so grading system was another thing that was proposed under this commission so some of the defects that were pointed out because of this because of which this commission was started was the education in our schools is much more isolated it's narrow it's one sided high importance is given to english as a medium of instruction the method of teaching fails to bring out the independence of the candidate and fails to bring in a kind of practical the learning and there is a kind of dead weight of the examination that basically curbs the initiative of the students and the teachers to exactly learn and experiment so some of the recommendations talked about improving vocational efficiency so a child can earn then education for leadership development of personality and development of democratic citizenship so those were the key uh, recommendations that were provided under the mudaliyar commission some of the principles that were followed were principle of totality of experience variety and elasticity uh, principles related to community training for leisure integration and correlation so these were the five principles that were laid down under the mudaliyar commission there were certain special criteria that were given for accommodation equipment qualification salaries and financing of the educational institutions for example it was given a area le not less than 10 square feet uh, should be provided per student the optimum number of students to be admitted in any class should be 30 and should not exceed 40 in any case the optimum number of uh, students in a school should be 500 and maximum up to 750 6 days a week should be the working criteria Where With a minimum of 200 working days. Uh, again, you have working hours per week not less than 35 periods of 45 minutes. So those were the criteria that were given under Mudaliyar Commission. Uh, CES called industrial education. CES should be levied. Now some of the basic uh, merits or benefits of this commission was it focused on activity based learning. As we said, agricultural education was focused. There was child centered education. teachers salary and positions were improved co curricular activities were promoted there was higher stress that was laid on multi purpose schooling and open technical education however uh, there were certain demerits associated to this commission the first was most of the suggestions were given in uh, hurried so the idea was the problems are still there the active solutions for those problem is not yet formulated again 
it recommended that English should not be, uh, English is stressed too much, but it is still there. So still English is stressed too much. There were no suggestions regarding the women education that was laid down and no new statements were given for improvement of the socio-economic conditions. So those were some of the highlights of Mudaliar Commission. It was an important commission for the purpose of secondary education in India and the, some of the recommendations as we talked about were really important for uh, bringing in a reform in the school education system. System. We'll be talking about more commissions and committees in the upcoming classes, so stay tuned, have a great day ahead.